we got Mike at Living Free as our personal tour guide of Duluth, Minnesota. So he's gonna be rolling in his van in front of us. So we're doing a van life meets RV life thing again. Holy day I break these chains. I'm bound for the life of the simple things. Just check the mail like a normal human being. Oh dude, no, er erase this. <laughs> nope. What's over there, baby? You see anything? There is like a house. Yeah, I don't think that's what he was pointing at. Yeah, we are here following Mike living free. We just left in his house. This is Smitty's first dirt road since we've been the owners. <laughs> that's true, huh, baby? We got here so late last night, I didn't. But I didn't think it was like a tough road like that, huh? <laughs> I knew it was pretty rough. This is a really, this is a really scenic spot. You'd have to like, take a picture here of the, of this and this, you know? You should. Mike doing his videos. <laughs> the cameraman. Yeah. He got a, a GoPro too, huh, baby? Yep. It's Hero he, 3 or 4? Hero 3 plus white. He has the cheapest one of the new era, a GoPro. Oh, that's the white? Which it does great. I don't even know why I have beyond the white originally. Should have gotten the white. Everybody made it like you had to have the silver, but I think the silver takes crappy pictures. I want to see if yours takes good ones. The pictures I took while we were on the uh, Chicago River on that barge, mm -hmm. they didn't turn out. Look what he's Hi. doing, huh? That's your friend, huh, baby? Yeah, that's my friend. <laughs> and he didn't even drink anything, huh? <laughs> he didn't drink a bit. He didn't drink since we've been there. And now he drives straight. That's my friend. <laughs> now we got the asphalt. Come on. That's pretty over here. Pretty calm. Would you live in here, baby? Yeah, if I could have a farm. Otherwise, I wouldn't really live here. I would spend time here. But how they it's not they don't have like a farm, right? No. That's a just a small land or? Yeah, well this uh, I don't wanna get into it too much because Mike wants to keep where he lives at secret. There's farm land. Uh Mike wants to keep where he lives at kind of secret, so I don't wanna get into where he is. It's out in the woods. Mike, huh? I just floored it past Mike and he was like, what the heck? <laughs> now he's behind us. Go show him. I'm gonna show him and sober. He's coming guys. He's spinning. I'm gonna show him and sober. That's a pretty special moment.
nice garden. Summer now. Summer now. Yeah. Nice sun. Oh, they have picnics here, huh? Yeah, this is a beautiful park. Usually. <laughs> <laughs> when you can actually see. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least Sober gets to run around and sniff stuff. Hey, you know what? Maybe you guys will luck out. Maybe it'll clear out tomorrow. Yeah, maybe you can see some tomorrow before we split. Oh, I hope so. And can we go to the top? Up here? Yeah. yeah. Yep. There's a slight, very little chance, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> oh, I think we are not gonna <laughs> see much. Yeah, we can see. How do you think the RV did climbing? Pretty good. I took it on the flattest route. I mean, there was another option, <laughs> but those roads are like this. <laughs> yeah. Notice how nobody's here. <laughs> this is usually, you think? This is usually packed with tourists. Really? Yeah. Entering Inger Tower. I should have a really beautiful view at the top. Yep. <laughs> One more. That's over. Let's go. You can do it. You can do it. Ta-da! <laughs> we cannot see anything. You guys pooped yet? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> There's a magnificent uh, view that uh, we just walked 15 <laughs> flights of stairs to see. Bro, we just drove 100 miles. <laughs> Hey there guys, whenever I'm out here by the Great Lakes, it always trips me out because when you look out over the Great Lakes, it looks like an ocean, yet you're just at a freshwater lake. Oh, he wants the receipts? Oh, baby. The thing is telling, telling him to write you a citation. So, must have so what can I do? The Should I leave him on the windshield? The guarantee that you will be good is be the first call in seven. But you should be good. Okay? Because if somebody comes along and gives you a ticket, you have no proof that you paid back because in fact you didn't. But I understand where you're coming from, Tom. You know, I do. And you should be good. That's all I can tell you. Yeah, you can put it there too. Okay. You know, we don't pay those for money. People give people, well, they do strange things to try to get by. Um, we don't pay attention to that. All right. You don't, oh, you don't, you guys don't care at all, huh? Well, we care, of course we care. That's why I'm trying to make you. Yeah, that's why I'm not giving you a ticket now and telling you how to go up there and pay. So, I want to help you because you talk to me. But, but I got the wrong but, but, number. But. <laughs> All right, thank you. You know, I would for sure, since these don't mean it, I would take that for sure off there. I wouldn't need that one. We, we don't pay attention to that either, so you might as take it. All right. Look, remember, I said 67 and you said yeah. <laughs> Look at the number. Yeah, 87. Okay, let's go, guys. And then he, what, he wants us to play another one? He says we should be okay, but he's not going to guarantee we won't get a citation. Yeah. So now you yeah. can be paranoid the whole time. How do you feel about it, baby? 
Yeah, we need to pay more attention, huh? It's Nazi yeah. Germany is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, guys. So, I think Minnesota uh, pier parking is Nazi Germany. <laughs> hey, guys. Get out there. Connect with people. Live your big story. And do something every single day to help reduce world suffering. Peace. Without you, my friend. Can I tell you all about it when I see you again? We come along.